Kids, did I ever tell you about the time I caught a big Murray Cod? It was almost as big as you! <laughs> Things were different back then. There were so many fish, we didn't need all this newfangled gear to catch them. Just strong, thick line, a good hook, and a bit of bait. You see, the river's flow was always strong. It eddied around snags and rocks. Every spring, there was a pulse of flow, and every so often, there was so much water that it would flow up over the banks and wash in all the goodies and bugs called plankton, which the small fish like to eat. It sounds like the human heartbeat. Our hearts need flowing fresh blood and a strong pulse. Yep, flowing water is the lifeblood of all rivers. Without it, the rivers perish. And the strong spring pulse is the heartbeat. Many river animals depend on it. Some fish are pretty picky about the water flow too. What about the famous Murray Cod? Well, they are most abundant when the river is free flowing, swirling over logs and boulders. The big old ones like it, and the young ones like it too. It's in these habitats where they grow into adult fish. It's easier for them to find and catch food there. What about the golden perch? I love catching them. Yep, and the golden perch too. They only breed with the right flow conditions, those pulses of flow in spring and summer. Free flowing water and flow pulses every spring were the keys to making the River Murray thrive. Unfortunately, over time, people changed the flow of the river, removing snags, building weirs and making it more stable. This made it easier to navigate the river and pump water out to use, but the weirs blocked fish migrations and changed the way the river flows. Parts of the River Murray are now more like long skinny lakes than a free flowing river and the environment has suffered. There's less food for the fish and less places for them to hide, hunt and grow. We started noticing fewer fish like Murray Cod and Golden Perch that means less chance of us catching anything today. Grandpa, how can we help the river? I want all those fish to come back. The community has already called for the government to act on behalf of the fish and the river. The fish have been impacted in lots of ways, so we need a range of strategies to help them out. Fishways have been built to help them swim past the weirs, and now we're using other tools to hopefully boost numbers. Keeping more water flowing down the river is one of the most important. We hope in future years it can help to mimic the river's flowing lifeblood and bring back the river's heartbeat, the spring pulse, and bring the abundant fish with it. Lower Murray researchers have been monitoring and since 2015 have found an increasing number of small Murray cod and are now investigating what is contributing to this improvement. Well-managed flow deliveries, including water for the environment, is undoubtedly helping the Lower River Murray. Other recovery measures, like adding snags to the river and weir pool lowering, can also contribute to the improvement of the river's health. It's going to take some time, but with a bit of patience, hopefully soon you two will be able to catch your own big Murray cod, maybe even bigger than mine. <laughs>